The Electoral Commission is working towards having a more inclusive national general election for next year. The Commission today launched its first ever school voter registration exercise. The exercise will be conducted throughout this week in secondary schools in the National Capital District. Gregory Avira reports. Voting age students fill the Guerrero Secondary School Hall to get registered on the electoral roll. For many of these students, next year will be the first time to cast their votes in an election. The school voter registration exercise is part of the Commission's efforts to have all eligible voters registered in preparation for next year's election. Deputy Electoral Commissioner Simon Sinai says past elections have been conducted but with minimal involvement of most of the eligible youth population. Students are among the voting population in PNG, who has been mere spectators of elections in for a very long time since the first elections. The student registration exercise is the first of its kind to be conducted by the Electoral Commission. And it is an approach which can benefit both the Commission and the eligible student population. I think it is good for the electoral commission. What they are doing is really good because it's helping the youth to enroll and get voted in for 2017. The commission they do this. We, as a student, we privilege uh, because much of our time is spent here. We students we spend much, much of our time here. Uh, instead of going there. She did register already and I'm looking forward to vote for the next year election. The student registration will be carried out throughout this week and end on Friday. Enrollment teams will be sent to secondary schools in the city to conduct registrations. Meanwhile, registration for the general public will begin on the 14th of November to the 2nd of December. Youths make up 40% of the country's population. It is through such an exercise that the Electoral Commission hopes to include this large group for next year's general elections. Gregory Avira, NBC National News, Port Mosby.